Yo, what's good Spirit Squad? Today we're going to continue our little series where we're taking a look at each of the best decks in formats like Pioneer and Explorer so that we can kind of get a grasp on how to play each of them and consequently how to beat each of them. Today we'll be taking a look at Mono Green Devotion, which is a deck that is very, very good in Pioneer, primarily because of Nick those Shrine to Nyx, but that card doesn't exist on Arena. So we have, I guess, the next best thing, and that's still going to be a mono green ramp deck. The idea here, just like the one in Pioneer, is that you're going to be using cards like Llanowar Elves, Elvish Mystic, and Wolf Willow Haven to ramp yourselves up to really powerful cards like Karn the Great Creator and Storm the Festival. You also have a little bit of help in here too. You have things like Kiora to help untap permanent, including Mana Dorks or Lands, just for a little additional mana. In Pioneer, this card gets to untap Nykthos and it goes absolutely brazy, but here it's just fine. But whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. And this version of the deck is going to be a little more in tune with that part of the things. We have four copies of Old Growth Troll and four copies of Cavalier of Thorns, again, the exact same as you see in Pioneer. But also, there's going to be four copies of Lovestruck Beast. So, Against decks like Rakdos and Mono Red, things like that, oh, and humans, just a 1-1 one, one for 1 is already okay, but a 5-5 five, five for 3 is an excellent blocker. And you get to draw cards along the way. Who doesn't like that? We also have two copies of Voracious Hydra, which can just go ahead and fight your opponent's creatures if they're pretty annoying, or if they're not annoying, just make a giant freaking Hydra. And then, of course, Karn. Everybody loves Karn, right? Right? So we have a whole Karn sideboard here so that we can fetch cards with Karn to suit whatever situation we're in. We have a Tormod script for graveyards, a Haywire Might for any artifacts or enchantments that are offending you. Shadow Spear is pretty good against two different things, actually. Of course, its primary thing is going to be the Life Link. So if you want to put it on like an Old Growth Troll or a Cavalier of Thorns and try to outrace the Redditor White decks, you can do that. But also, against decks like Spirits, paying two to make something lose Hexproof is a pretty big deal when you're trying to do something like Hydra down your opponent's Rattle Chains, for example. You have an Asika's Chariot, because it is an artifact, so you can get it. Same with Sky Sovereign. And the Great Henge is a card that's... fine? Like, it's pretty easy to get out of your sideboard. And because you have cards like Cavalier of Thorns and Voracious Hydras, you can cast this for pretty cheap, sometimes as little as two mana if you have a big enough Hydra. Darksteel Citadel is an artifact land, so if you just need to make a Desperation land drop and Karn's there, cool, go get it. We have one copy of Pestilent Cauldron, and it's not for the front half. We don't actually care about the Cauldron itself. We care about the back half, the Restorative Burst, where you get to return two target creatures, lands, and or Planeswalkers from your graveyard to your hand, the four life is generally irrelevant, but you get to exile Restorative Burst. The kicker for that is that since it is exiled, Karn can just get it again because you're allowed to get artifacts from outside the game. Even though you cast the Restorative Burst, the card that's exiled is actually the Pestilent Cauldron, so you can just keep using Restorative Burst as much as you want. We've got one copy of Golos Tireless Pilgrim, and that's going to go ahead and get any land out of your deck and just put it right into play. But the cool part about Golos here is that its ability, you can pay two in Wooburg to exile the top three cards of your deck, and you can just like cast all of those things. And the land that you want to get with it is going to be Cascading Cataracts, because you can tap five, tap itself to add five mana in any combination of colors, giving you your Wooburg all in one card. So Golos is just basically a self combo. We have one copy of God Pharaoh statue, so if you want to lock your opponent out of being able to cast spells, this is how you do that. And then a new card. We have one copy of Cityscape Leveler, which is super dope. So it's going to be an 8-8 eight, eight for 8, which is already huge. But whenever you cast a spell and whenever this thing attacks, you destroy a non-land permanent and they trade it for a Power Stone token, which I'm positive most of your opponents do not care about. And it even unearths. So yeah, this card's super dope. The best thing about this thing having unearth is that when the unearth is all said and done, it will exile itself, meaning you can just go and get it with Karn again. And against the aggro decks, because that's probably going to be the only thing you really have problems with, we've got a full four copies of Elder Gargaroth in the sideboard. And this card just like absolutely 
stomps on aggro decks basically by itself. Just a 5 mana 6-6 six, six is already huge against things like Rakdos, things like Mono White, but then it has the nerve to have Vigilance and Reach, meaning Spirits players hate it as well. So this thing is really freaking obnoxious, and because it costs 5, you can come off of Storm to Festival with it just fine. So that's going to be our green deck. We're going to go ahead and play a few rounds on the ranked ladder here as always, and I'll see y'all in that first round. All right, we are on the play. Love to see that. And this hand, however, this one's going to go back. Like, normally, in a lot of decks, this hand is not that bad, right? But without a mana dork or anything other than Heart's Desire to do early, this hand really just doesn't do shit. So let's try again. And this is surprisingly a lot better. So I am going to keep the six. I'm going to pitch this. Yeah, all right. So here I can cast one of my Kioras on turn three here. And Kiora will be able to untap a forest on the following turn to make the mana for old growth trolls so against the castle ardenvale deck unless this is blue white control which oh it's a soldier aggro deck okay well you are never killing kiora so have fun with that so if they skyclave apparition kiora then whatever but if they do almost anything else i'm just gonna get to cast my old growth troll draw a card maybe it's even a land and a four four is gonna be a lot bigger than just about everything else they're presenting here so let's see what happens do they attack my face or the kiora uh exile from your graveyard you put a plus one on each soldier you control okay all right so my homegirl is going to take two damage go down to five loyalty and we're going to float two mana because you have to untap one of the lands you don't just get to make a mana with kiora that's not how she works um but i am going to get to cast my friend here and i would rather do this and walk into a potential protecting negotiators like that um <laughs> than really do anything else there so this means that they are going to go ahead and get to kill my kiora with the two attackers here so that's unfortunate um but i still think i like the way we played that like if they had the thing they were already going to have the thing what do you do uh, i can't do shit during your turn when you attack you wow that's actually pretty obnoxious so how am i going to get out of this now so i have to choose between the troll and the kiora so i'm going to choose the troll get some defense up and if they manage to kill this thing in combat say i don't know with some kind of weirdo pump spell or something then i'm going to get to attach this to one of my forests and have even more mana so if i can draw like a storm to festivals or something next turn then i get to get away with still being on the back foot and i'll end up being mostly okay what do you do uh you have protection from odd that's pretty good huh. Shit, that's cool. Won't lie and say I like it, but it's cool. Oh my freaking god, what? Oh, that's insane. All right, well, I guess you got me on that one. Holy Jesus, that is nuts. How am I going to beat this card? I think the answer is I don't. So I guess what I want to do here, because I'm only going to have one, two, three, four, five mana. Um, Let's go ahead and grab the Shadow Spear. Where are you? I could also grab the Cat Car, but a pretty large part of me... Actually, no, I think I should grab the Cat Car, because considering I actually live this turn, which is not guaranteed... Um, actually, can I live this turn? I'm at 16. So you attack for four, you attack for four. I can block four and then take eight, 10, 12 and go to four. Or I can block a two, two instead of here and go to two. That's not particularly good enough. So let's just go ahead and move to the next game. So I do want my Elder Gargaroths here. And Gior is a little bit mid in this matchup. So let's just swap that and see if we can do a little bit better. I would love to see... Llanowar Elves, Elvish Mystic, or Wolf Willow Haven on the play in this matchup. Okay, so we're on the play. We have some lands. Uh, I have a Wolf Willow Haven, and I have a Heart's Desire for an early blocker, so I guess I'll try it. Uh, let's cast you. And we have a Recruitment Officer. Got it. So, not a land, which is definitely something I do want to draw soon, but I will at least be glad to have the blocker for this thing. So if they want to attack and trade, I will very, very happily accept that trade. Okay... Hell yeah, let's see if you have some trick. Nope, no trick? Sick. Alright, so if they're going to hold up a Protect Negotiators, damn it, no land. I was going to say if I draw a land, then I just... Actually, let me read that card real quick to make sure it actually counterspells if they don't have any creatures. Uh, counter target spell unless its controller pays one for each creature you control. They have zero creatures, so I'm just going to try to cast this. Raise the alarm. That is completely fine. So, it'll obviously be less fine later on as they start coming at me with whatever that 4 or 5 is called for 4. Like, that card's actually unreal good. But, um, now what? So, 
I think I just want to get an attack in and cast a heart's desire. Or I could just cast this, make them play the Protect Negotiators, get one token. No, that's pretty bad. So let's just do this. And if they want to counter with Protect Negotiators, I get to pay two for it. Or does the kicker make the token first? Oh, Dovin's Veto. Okay. Hmm. Misgate Pathway. That's not suspicious at all. Playing this on blue instead of white tells me that we have two counter spells to look forward to, I think. Not a huge fan of that. So let's hold you on defense then and walk the spell they know I have into another counter spell. Make this appear. That's fine. So I don't know that I actually shouldn't have attacked with that. Oh, uh, that doesn't change anything. Okay. So now I've got, okay. Elder Gargs is pretty nice if it goes off next turn. So let's walk a Karn that I don't actually care about into a counter spell. Oh, well, that just resolved very easily. Okay. Um, I'm still going to go ahead and minus three. So let's grab a land drop because I really need one. So now what can I do with five mana? I can cast Elder Gargs. Well, I certainly like the idea of that. So now if they want to commit a attack all into Karn, I'm okay with that. If they want to do this, I actually do think I'm pretty okay with that. As well. Actually, this is preferable because it means there's no counter spell for Elder Gargs next turn. So I actively want you to try to use Chef at Dunes. Dang it. I don't want you in the graveyard because of your pump ability, so I'm just going to block one of these. Um, Karn, Karn. Yeah, that's fine. Karn's dead. I get to chill still at 18, which of course makes me nice and happy. This makes me happier. Um, if they didn't play anything last turn, they untapped, played this. I, fuck it, your problem. Oh, nothing. They had nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do this then. Um, this time I want to grab Guy Sovereign, Shadow Spear. I think I want to draw the Shadow Spear. All right, so since my plan is to try to resolve Elder Gargs, if they let two Karns resolve, I feel like I've done my due diligence in getting counter spells or rather bait spells cast and out of their hand because if they didn't counter this they're not going to counter anything so unless their next draw step is exactly a counter spell i'm or rather if if this last draw step wasn't exactly a counter spell i'm pretty sure i'm okay so i'm going to do my best to get this resolved Ooh, i have two now so here i'm just going to no target this because i don't want to kill my dark steel citadel um it's indestructible but this would still make it a zero zero so it would still die uh so let's cast the spell they know I have first, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six mana. So I can either just cast one of these gargs. Actually, I think this is a better plan. I think I want to equip and then cast Old Growth Troll. Yeah, I actually think I like that a lot better. So now they have to commit at least two attackers to Karn if they want to kill it. And I'm still just not going to kill this Valiant Veteran if I can help it. Uh, you're the protection from Odd Thing? Yeah. So that'll be a bit obnoxious here. Oh, they're just going to let me use Karn again? Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I guess I'm going to grab my cityscape leveler then. Um, yeah. All right. Let's try it. Cast, destroy. Oh, and it just resolved. Sick. Um, well, this is now your problem. So good luck. Nice two twos. Here's some trample and trample and trample. All right. Game three. This one's going to be a little more difficult. We're on the draw. Whoa. Is that a mana elf in our hand? Hi. I didn't know you were still in the deck. Let's celebrate by keeping this lovely little hand. Um, I actually like the Voracious Hydra against this deck too. So that's a pretty promising thing. Although I really do want to draw a couple more lands out of this. If this Karn resolves, I'll be pretty glad for the Darksteel Citadel in the sideboard because of that. Valiant Veteran, you got it. So here, I'm going to Wolf Willow Haven uh, here. And then just cast both of my Love Struck Beasts, uh, Heart Desires, and call that a day. Not that that's exactly a bad start, right? Like, that's pretty good. I do still need to see another land if I want to cast my 5 drop here. But being able to cast Karn a turn early, having some early blockers, I'm not exactly sad about any of these things. Bass Recat! Wow! What do you even do? Uh, plus one indestructible. Whenever somebody attacks, you get that many soldiers. Okay. And what's the minus? You get an emblem, you get a soldier, and then you put a counter on each creature you control. Okay, cool. So that was indestructible until end of turn. Okay. So it's not permanently indestructible is what we're saying here. So that means I'm just going to run you out, grab the Darksteel Citadel, and just kind of keep it pushing from there. So give me my manas. No attacks because we definitely do not want to have no blockers for Karn. We don't want to, you know, just make really bad attacks for no reason, right? Uh, so how many counter spells can I possibly walk into in one go is the question here. A 4-4, four, four, you got it. Uh, you are minus 6 for your ultimate. Okay. You're the protection from odd thing. Okay. You are even. Bloop. Hi, we do a protect. Um, can't cast that. So I only have 
two, three, four, five mana available, which means I can Cavalier of Thorns. I can Sky Sovereign as Riquette down a little bit. I can cast... Well, I'm definitely getting a card, because if I don't get a card, then this thing can just attack Karn for free, and I get no value. So I think I would rather just go Los with my five mana. Yeah, I like that. So, oops, where's my... There it is. So I'm just going to cast you, get the Cascading Cataracts, and then know that with one more land, I can go ahead and just cast three spells instead of one. And if not, then I still have a 3-5. Indestructible 5-5. Five, five. Fine by me. I already had absolute... Uh, oh, double odd. Okay. So that means I want to just... Oh, hey, we did it. So you are... Well, first and foremost, submit zero. I think I just want to activate this, right? Huh? Oh, that's how it works. Okay, got it. So I need to one, two, three, four, five. Oh, do I only have six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I only have six. All right. Let's uh finish feeling stupid and instead, I guess, just cast this thing. What does that walk into a Dovin's Veto? So I can play two of these. I can cry about this. I guess I play you as a 4-4, four, four, clear one of these. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, I just think this isn't going to go well, if I'm being completely honest. So I'm just going to cast this and have two mana left over. Because I need one more mana to be able to use this with the cataracts. But this thing's going to get to ultimate. And unfortunately, there's just not much I'm going to be able to do about that, which really sucks. Also, both of these having pro odd does kind of... Oh, uh... Okay, I don't think that was a good choice at all, but not my problem, I guess. So let's cast another elf with the land that we just got, and I'm kind of stuck here. So if they want to clear out Karn, they can just do that with an attack. That's kind of whatever. I can't really do much about this, which is... Actually, that's annoying, but I... I legitimately don't think this is the end of the world. As far as emblems go, this is one of the least problematic ones for us. So like these being five fives does mean I'm on a two turn clock if they attack me instead of Karn. But if they do that for even one turn, then I can get a cityscape leveler and clear these out. So, oh, okay. So I go to 15. This thing dies. Uh, oh, you're even. Oh my God, you're even. Oh, yo, what's up? I had a token. Oh, that's okay. That's dope. Now life is great. I overlooked it to opponent, so can't even make fun of you. Well, let's go get our Cityscape Leveler. That went a lot better than I thought it was going to, right? Uh, here you go. Let's cast an 8-8, clear out one of these on cast, and then you can counter the spell if you want to, but I don't really care about that now because I got to do the thing. And now that these are really just, like, not that much of an issue anymore, I can just start using Golo starting next turn. And I have mana, so I'll use mana. So now my opponent's in a really, really fucked up spot, right? Like, I've got an 8-8 that can block this thing just fine. When it attacks, it can still clear it out just fine. It does destroy. It doesn't actually, um, whatever the not destroy word is, exile. So, like, that's an issue. But, yeah, even the, um, even the emblem doesn't really pose that much of a threat by itself currently. I do still need to do like one or two more productive things to make sure I can actually finish this game, but for right now it's feeling pretty decent. So they have get to flood the board, do that thing, they can attack if they want to, but this being a giant blocker for now is gonna feel pretty good. Also of note, this, if they attack into this, I will just let it die. Okay, well, as promised, I guess. Um, yeah, block like that, take four. This dies here, so I get my trigger, this kills this, I can un- uh, this kills this. Yeah, I'm in for that. And I get to put, I guess, Karn on top? Yeah, let's draw Karn. Um, but- one, two, three, four, five. I just want to cast a bunch of spells. Oh my god, that is insane. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's any sort of fair, honest. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry, opponent. That was kind of fucked up. GG's. All right, second round, we're on the draw, and we have a bunch of mana this time, so that's exciting. Uh, let's see what our opponent is up to. Is our little goblin friend gonna blow this up? Oh uh, yeah, that's sick. I don't pay enough attention to the little pets and things in this, so this is pretty sweet. Uh, Faceless Haven. Okay, so we're just looking at mono white humans. That's okay. Uh, so here I can do a couple of things here. I'm definitely playing you as the land, of course, but I can just make a metric shit ton of mana here and then worry about this later, or I can play this as a 5-5, and that's definitely not the option. So let's do this. Wolf Willow Haven here first, use the mana to cast both my elves, and then next turn I'm going to open up with 7 mana, so hell yeah. Let's do that. Playing Iganjo, okay, into a Thalia, which I currently don't care about. So here I'm just going to go ahead and do this and this. I still have 2 mana left over to cast Heart's Desire, perfect. And let's grab one of our 3 forests. Nice Thalia, here's a 5-6. Um, <laughs> let me stop talking shit about my boo before she betrays me. I've really love me some Thalia. Oh, that's actually not bad for me. So 
don't get me wrong, it's not great. Like, my only giant creature is now gone. But I still get to go ahead and untap, make a 5-5, five, five, have my... Oh, my Lanta. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, well, let's just make a 6-6, six, six, clear out the Brutal get my friend back, and then I get to trigger my cavalier again putting me closer to the storm the festival that just went to the graveyard i think did one go to the graveyard i don't know i didn't look that closely oh well now one did you know what fuck it let's get in there what did i see oh i saw another cavalier i guess okay i thought it was a storm the festival but i have one now um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i need to make a land drop if i want to cast this or attack have them block thalia and then post combat it which either way i'm pretty okay with. A 5-4 is not currently big enough to dodge this, so let's make him do that. Opponent, I would like you to throw some creatures away. Thalia first, and now I can cast this. Oh, hi. Um, I want a Karn, and I want Karn to get us a, I guess a statue. Yeah. So ideally, I can just make their shit cast two more, and that'll be really annoying. Face Thalia, Thalia, or Karn, Karn, Base. Okay, so there's no way to protect Karn, and I have all the mana I needed right now, so let's just do this. Uh, Troll's good, and I can cast both Troll and the statue, so let's do that. I think I'm exactly one mana off of casting this and the left struck beast though. Oh, sure, to get your scry on. You got it. That makes sense. And they're casting God's Willing here because the card, um, oh, what the hell is the card I'm thinking of? Brave the Elements doesn't exist on Arena yet. So here, my job really is just to stay alive. So if they make you a 6-6, six, six, I don't mind double blocking you to put Cavalier of Thorns in the graveyard. Um, that means I can rebuy Karn if that's the option. Oh, well, that's gonna suck. Okay, things are super large and in charge. Old Growth Troll, I think, will also block anything that it is really allowed to block profitably. So if they just kind of, like, click attack all here, then I don't know that this is necessarily the end of the world. It does suck a little bit, though, that after I played the statue, the next couple of draws were both lands, which is pretty obnoxious, not gonna lie. Um, so I want to do this and they will most likely just kill the old growth troll but i want to at least give them a chance to kill the uh oh are we killing cavalier oh shit we're killing cavalier okay well i'm in for that so i guess i'm just gonna rebuy my karn then so karn leaves me with one two three four five six mana left over six mana is good enough for great henge into love struck beast yeah let's do that and now they if they want to clear out Karn, they have to kind of click attack all into that. They can't clear out my life total this turn, I believe. I believe. Yeah, because two blockers, even if they animate Faceless Haven, I don't believe is anywhere near good enough to clear out my life total unless... Nope, never mind. I was going to say unless the card in their hand is also named God's Willing, but I didn't think that was good enough, so... <clears throat> okay. So where are we going with our attacks? If they attack with Faceless Haven into Karn, I will 100% block with my Love Struck Beast too. We are trying to clear out my face. Okay, so I get to do this now, right? I take 10, go to 4, clear these out, untap Cityscape Leveler here, hold up blockers? Yeah, I'm in for that. So now you get to attach here and untap. So where's my Leveler? Here it is, right? Leveler over Shadow Spear. Oh yeah, I don't have anything big enough for Shadow Spear. <laughs> Leveler it is. So play the land, play this, clear this out, draw a card. It's a land. And I'm not going to click any buttons or touch anything here because all I need to do is really just be patient with this. Like it's just huge. I honestly don't know that. Okay, good. I was going to say, I honestly don't even know that my opponent's going to try to play this next round either. So what do I want to do here? Just the Gargs again. And instead of Kioras, basically the same thing as last round, except here, I'm not playing around counter spells. Really the only difference. Um, yeah, I'm in for this. So turn one elf, turn two old growth troll is a pretty good start into a Karn. Yeah, I'm super in for that. So Hopeful Initiate is, of course, going to be pretty annoying if they can manage to do the thing and have this attack for 100-100. But looks like now that's not particularly going to be an option unless this draw step right here or this turn here is going to be a Brutal Cathar or a Skyclave Apparition. That can clear this out, and I'm sad about that. Um, But if that's not what happens, I'm still pretty okay. Yeah, sick. So here I get to just, like, jam my Karn. I'm excited about that. And Karn here will get me a Battle Boat. And I'm definitely not attacking. So if they want to attack both into my Karn, I actually am kind of okay with that. Uh, but they missed a land drop, so they're off it. Well, more creatures beaten down. Let's move to the next round. Hey, thanks for being here. If you're having a good time with today's content, 
make sure to click like on the video and let me know. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you want to further show your support, check out the Patreon, which will be in the video description and in today's pinned comment. In the Patreon, you'll get all kinds of extra benefits, including access to articles, sideboard guides, personalized coaching, and the ability to submit your deck to be played on this channel. Thanks for being here. Let's move on to the next round. Okay, once again, we lose the die roll, but hand's still good. So I've got Mana Dork, Mana Here, Creature Here, and huge giant things here against Watery Grave. What is Watery Grave doing? Oh, are we just like Demir Control? If so, I don't think I necessarily mind that. So I can cast the Wolf Willow Hay- Oop, oop, oop. Absolutely not. There we go. Cast Wolf Willow Haven here. And then if I'm allowed, that can turn into a Heart's Desire. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then I'll just float the mana here. That's whatever. But I like that better than potentially walking into a sensor for Kiora or something. Here, I get to just untap, make my land drop, have five mana. And then I can choose between Kiora, Lovestruck Beast. I can play something I draw. And then with one more mana source here, assuming this lives, I can cast Storm to Festivals and start going from there. Eh, looks like that's not going to happen, but this is still okay. Well, there's the land I asked for. So let's go ahead and get my attack in first and then play around sensor, but not negate. I think I'm okay with that. So let's tap this. Okay, so now I'm going to try to play the Love Struck Beast by untapping this. And if they counter this, then whatever. Yeah, that's fine. So they did get to use their sensor a little profitably, which I don't necessarily enjoy, but I acknowledge. Oh, that was a mistake. That was not good for you. Now I get to resolve this. Okay, Uh, what's that? March of Wretched Sorrow, sure. Okay, so now I get to basically just do whatever the hell I want. So let's untap this. Uh, four, five, six. So what can beat this? Spell Pierce, I guess? Okay, I was gonna say there's no shot this deck is actually playing a Spell Pierce. I'm just gonna put some five, five. Oh shit, Narset, 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 fuck. Oh, I, okay, that was a mistake. Oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> uh, whatever, get punched, Narset. Oh, no, not getting punched. It looks like we're just going to have a fatal push here or exile a card. There's no way they're actually exiling a card to kill a token. Oh, it's blue. Sure. That actually wasn't bad. I like this card. So now Narset goes to one and I can activate my Lair to Hydra if I want to be able to attack with my Left Struck Beasts, but that's certainly not. Uh oh, oh dear. Oh dear. That's scary. All right. So I am going to do that though x is one so now let's see oh no i'm not gonna be allowed to move to combat what am i doing with my entire life right now i think i cast this almost as like yeah actually no i like this i like this i like this so now i get to storm the festival they can use the commit but that taps out four mana yeah and if they want to get rid of this they have to exile a spell oh god damn it they just have another stupid vortex that sucks so now they're getting get to make a land drop and cast one of these memories yeah all right thanks for the memories oh hey Never mind. Life's good. Never didn't have it. Uh, <laughs> all right, go away. Oh, do I play around this deck potentially having sweepers? I think I just draw a card instead. I was thinking about potentially doing this, Um, but I think I'm just good like this, right? I mean, not good, but you know what? That actually is mostly okay. It's not good, but I think it is. Oh, that is. Um. So how do I want to play this? I think I want to move into combat first. See if I'm allowed to move into combat. Okay, so my elf is going to bite it, which means I'm not going to get to attack. They're going to get a zombie out of it. In main phase two, I get to go what? I can two, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So I can carn into a four drop like a Seekus Chariot. I can Cavalier, but I know that I'm not going to get a card back off of Cavalier. I still think this is the right thing for this turn. So I get a forest. I draw an elf. Damn it. Should have done that pre-combat, I guess. Oh well. Uh, but I still get to cast this and resolve it now. And I'm going to grab my Cityscape Leveler here because it does the thing on cast so I can still get rid of Kalidus. Also very cool. Hopefully I get to resolve my Llanowar Elves as well. And that will give me the chance to attack with these guys too. So even through the Narset into Commit to Memory. Oh, come on. Oh wait. And they find the other Commit. Okay. So I actually like this draw a lot. So I'm still going to do this. Oh, my 88's already in my hand. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I think I'm actually just going to grab Battle Boat and then try to use Battle Boat to clear out the Narset later. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I still clear out Narset here. I think that's still right. Because, like, if they commit this sensor, 
one two mana left um ah, that plays around actually i think that was pretty good for my opponent so i get to resolve this but it means that oh just two sensors oh that's fine i think two sensors is actually okay so without a narset the commit to memory doesn't do too much on its own they can double attack and clear out karn that is an okay play against them three life but remember putting things into exile is okay for my karn um i think i just double block this right one two three four one two three oh no i don't double block this they can activate and um activate kalidus and cast commit on the other love struck beast so i think i just let that rock oh well that's pretty good so let's clear out their power stone token i'm sure there's no universe in which that actually matters but let's slay it anyway do the correct things and what do i want to do here just play my land of elves and attack yeah all right this way if they want to use their commit on my land of elves to deny my attack i still get to do this other stuff um i kind of want to be a little careful about this i think no uh yeah that's fine x is one one two three so now let's see if they want to commit something okay so if they activate Kalidus, they're only going to have three mana, which means they can't cast Commit. So that's actively pretty good for me. A double activate. You got it. Um, Take damage. And now Battle Boat's not like actually good here, but it's not nothing either. So they will get to go ahead and attack. Next turn, I can potentially cast a Storm to Festival. They do have this, so I need to be a little careful. Um, They are going up to 16, which I'm actually kind of okay with. So what do I want to do here? I can storm the festival first as a bait spell. Does that work? Yeah, because if they storm the if yeah, if I cast this, they use commit, then they can't really do anything about the attacks, which is nice because this is no longer they don't have the mana for that anymore. Um, so I get to just do this and attack for ten. I think I'm in for that. Oh, I could have made oh mistakes were made. Oh my god, I had two mana. This could have made itself a one one. Shit. Uh. All right, well, I'm bad. I feel bad. I was going to say, I almost hope they have a removal spell now because I fucked that up. I guess they can escape the cling to dust. They have like nothing else to do with these two cards. And it looks like that is what's going to happen. That's fine. So they get to do that. Draw a card. Attack for seven. I would go to 13. They go to 12. But I can currently attack for more than that on the way back. So we're definitely just not blocking this at all. Extinction event for odd. Well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. I no longer think we're winning this game. Um, now what? I can activate one of these and you as well. Or I can simply activate this crew and draw card. That's probably a little better. Uh, yes, I'm okay with that auto pay solution. So if one of these is like a fatal push or something, then I am monumentally screwed. But if I am allowed to get away with this for a turn, then maybe we can still draw something relevant. So I'm going to try to give myself the chance to draw something relevant. All right, Letus, take your damage. Opponent, take your damage. Stop looking at my stuff. Opponent, take your damage. Okay, cool. And let's draw a card. Ooh, that's a good draw. I mean, I should have known it was there. I just completely freaking forgot, like in Moron. <laughs> uh, getting rid of Kiora, sure. So opponents just drawing a whole mess of cards now, which makes sense. It's not like they're necessarily too worried about their life total with this in play. Uh, now a zombie. So how do I get out of this, really? I guess my goal here is to just, like, resolve this and hope for the best, really. Oh! uh they have seven cards that's not even an option all right let's move to the next game so uh, do i want the gargs here rather than anything else or do i just literally run it back i don't particularly want the hydras yeah all right and that's the only other thing i don't necessarily like too much about these um arn decks is that you don't actually get to sideboard of course karn's really 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 powerful so like a lot of times you just won't need a huge sideboard but that doesn't mean i don't want one so let's play first this time and uh absolutely not that is much better all right so i'm gonna keep this pitch to gargs and immediately land into elf so now i can cast this old growth troll on time unless this gets fatal pushed here and that looks like that's what's gonna happen yeah boo okay so i'm not gonna get to cast my friend ahead of schedule here but i do come here i do have another elf so if they spend time killing this then i can resolve this if they don't i guess i can cast this or play around sensor with this anyway uh but it looks like they're gonna kill my elf so i'm just gonna get to cast my old growth troll here and really just kind of start going from there if they kill this i get to attach it which is nice if they don't kill it i get to start attacking which is nicer well oh they're just gonna let me kill narset Okay, that's a fine trade by me. Please draw land. I want to resolve my card now. Thank you. So here, 
I want to grab cat car. Okay, so they can Aether Gust this if they want. They can deal with Cat Car using the Aether Gust as well. I'm very okay with either option, if I'm being honest. Um, let's grab another spell here. This one's going to be Golos. Where are you, friend? Um, get my attack in, see if they want to use this, knowing that I have options available. And I'm going to start by... Oh, I saw that. I'm going to try to Wolf Willow Haven here first, and then just cast an Elf. So this way, if they want to Aether Gust my troll or something else, then... I'm already okay with that because I got to develop my mana for next turn. If they don't and choose to do something else instead, that counts as something else, then I don't know that I really care. Uh, You can go to the bottom. So my little offense here isn't exactly the best currently, but I think I'm still okay with this. So let's go ahead and activate you on no target and do this and oop, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to play around sensors specifically with this. Urtai, that's kind of cool. So good thing we cleared out Narset. Because they're going to get to counter this, I get to draw a card. And it's actually a pretty decent draw. So I'm going to go ahead and just hold back Blocker here, just in case I'm actually allowed to block and protect Karn. And if I'm not allowed to block and protect Karn, then okay. Like, honestly, so be it. So let's do that then. I was totally expecting a Fatal Push or Black March or something on that, but I will happily take getting to use my Karn again. Field of Ruin. Ah, uh, remember that time we put basic forests with our wolf little havens yeah i don't really care about that actually so let's go ahead and grab a forest and a soren that's pretty cool uh they're gonna draw a card okay two four five six seven so if i draw a land here i get to i didn't but if i had i guess i would have gotten to use my cityscape leveler on this instead i think i'm just going to grab no i'm gonna grab the leveler anyway because it's still a cast trigger so i still get to just like do the thing but i'm gonna resolve golos into cascading cataracts and then just do this so i have two four five six seven eight so i do have the requisite mana to use this and this i no longer have a golos to use never mind but i can still do this so if they draw a card here then i get to just like play this exile this or destroy it whichever it is destroy uh that's fine and you bounce and i don't really care about that so let's do this get rid of you and make you deal with an 8-8 so they can rona's vortex this thing if they really want but then i'm just gonna get to cast again when i attack it also does the thing so like it's one of those damned if you do damn if you don't kind of deals oh no it's on the bottom never mind never mind never mind i'm a liar uh i also need to worry a little bit about this too so just fyi to self oh crap 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 Oh man, I missed out my free 1-1. One -one. Well, let's uh tell ourselves that the card in their hand was a negate, so I don't have to feel so bad about that, right? <laughs> oh, that was stupid. All right. Uh, look at that mana left over, unused, that could have been a Heart's Desire token, just giving away free equity. Oh, oh. I guess I'm going to get to use my 1-1 one -one after all. Doesn't mean we did that right. Uh, there's the Hall of Storm Giants. So now they attack all. I can block Urtai and then get to work from three life next turn. Let's draw something relevant, please. That is almost the exact opposite of what I asked you for a deck, but okay. Cast you, activate you. So now I just got to worry about this, I think, because if they activate Hall and attack, I can double block on the Hall. And then I still got to worry about you, but can't really do too much about flyers anyway. So it's almost whatever. Like if this beats me, I, I just can't do shit about it. Uh, no, no, stop. I guess that means I have to block like this. So I do that, go to one. And an old growth troll is not good enough. So we are done so here Gigi's opponent all right so our three rounds of magic with mono green are done and keep it real had a bunch of fun so we got to have some relatively involved and complex decisions in our games against soldiers and the mono white humans deck and really both of those matches were super fun and in our match against blue black control that was definitely an uphill battle but even though we kind of got our clocks cleaned i don't think i mind that that was pretty enjoyable. This is actually a deck that I would almost choose to play again on purpose. I'm saying almost because sometimes it does just feel like you're at your opponent's mercy if they just have like the card island anywhere in their deck. So I don't really like playing cards and not being able to do anything about my opponent's cards, which is kind of what it felt like because this entire deck is sorcery speed only. And that's just not the life I like to live. But that doesn't mean that this deck isn't fun. Like, I got to do a lot of really, really sick stuff, right? Like, we got to use a giant 8-8 Cityscape Leveler. We got to use Karn to go get a bunch of different stuff. Like, we got to use a Battle Boat, a Leveler, a God Pharaoh statue, Golos. Uh, we got to flip Golos into a bunch of spells for the win. So 
This deck has a lot of really cool interactions and kind of all about it. I would not take this to a, a tournament, though, of my own volition. That would probably never happen. Like, I do enjoy the deck, but I'm not playing this over Flyers. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. Highly recommend to anybody who does like just big giant things because this does big giant things. So if you are a true to me at heart, yeah, check out the mono green decks. It's really fun. I had a blast. But that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, as always, if you like what you're watching, make sure to click like on a video. Let me know. Sub to the channel if you're new. And I'll see y'all on the next one.